And we're here at the SID Display Week. And uh, who are you? I'm Andrew Scully. I'm the CEO of Imagine Corporation. And, and these are micro displays. We make micro displays. So these are very special micro displays. And hi, so who are you? Oh, my name is Amal Ghosh. I'm the CTO of Imagine Corporation. And a couple days ago here, the SID Display Week, you got an award, right? Yes. Uh, so uh, what? What did you talk about when you presented the, why you thought people gave you the award? Oh, <laughs> well, the award was for uh, you know, basically developing the micro display technology. And I was involved from day one uh, in developing the processes that led to the fabrication and development of micro displays. When was day one? Uh, this started in 1997. Um, and uh, it's been more than 20 years and we are still uh, making uh, very good progress. So what was the idea 22 years ago? Uh, who got the idea? What, what was, who wanted to do what back then? Okay, uh, our company, Imagine Corporation, uh, made a decision. Before that, we were doing field emission displays. And at that time, in 1997, Kodak came up with this technology of my, uh, OLEDs. And so we decided that uh, we can use the OLED technology for micro display applications. And that decision we made that time. And so what's, what's best about doing it the way you do it? You do micro OLED? This is OLED on a silicon wafer. So we have a silicon chip. The chip is designed by our group in Santa Clara. And then the uh, wafer is taken from a fab outside and brought to our uh, OLED processing fab in New York State. And these go in all kinds of devices, or mostly in uh, uh, head-mounted Well, things? they're head-mounted AR, VR type devices. Uh, today, we're mostly uh, defense-related. But in the future, we are uh, looking forward to AR, VR taking off for the enterprise market as well as the consumer market. And we have recently developed a 4,000, 4K resolution by almost 4K resolution display for the consumer market. And which size? Well, this one is uh, 2K by 2K, so we have one twice that resolution. In the same size? Uh, no. Similar it's, size? It's bigger. A little bit bigger. So it's bigger because the customer doesn't want a very small display because the optics are more difficult. Now, the other thing that has been developed that is absolutely outstanding is to make this high brightness. This is made very high brightness by directly patterning RGB on this very small pixel pitch, and the CTO, Amal Ghosh, has actually made that uh, invention. He and his group made that happen. So can you explain that invention? Okay, what it is is that in a typical OLED uh, micro display with color, is uh, white OLED with color filters, and that loses a lot of light. And so what we did is that we eliminated the color filters and we made the OLED patterning itself side by side, red, blue, and green. And that led to uh, high brightness uh, devices. And in addition to that, we have done a lot of other things to make it brighter. So we get very high brightness. It's unmatched by anybody in the industry today. Because OLED is super amazing, but sometimes when I look at TVs, they sometimes they say they have lower nits Yes. As what LCD yes, can do? Yes. But yes. you have a solution for that just for micro displays or is it usable for everything in OLED? It should be usable anywhere in OLEDs, but uh, for now we are doing it for micro displays, but the technology is expandable to larger displays as well. Because that's one of the challenges for OLED. They want to have also 1,000, 2,000 nits yes. and they can only get to six, 700. Right. So right now we get more than 7,500 nits and we are our target by the end of the year is more than 10,000 nits. That's a lot of nits. It's a lot of nits. So that mean, is that enough nits for any use case? Well, yes. Uh, actually, uh, 10,000 or even 5,000 is a good use case for uh, a virtual reality. And you may ask, gee, why do I need all those nits for a uh, uh, virtual reality, which is included? And that's because I want to have absolutely no motion artifacts. So I need the brightness in a uh, in a frame to be only on 10% of the time or could be less than that. So I need very high brightness. And obviously for AR, you need the brightness because you're fighting outside light. So the use cases are good for 5,000 and 10,000 is, is the winner. So I saw, I saw you speak at the CEO forum. Yeah. You were talking about uh, particle physics. Were yes. you talking about that? 
uh, were you like in the CERN or something like that? Oh no, what, uh, what he, the question was asked, what was a turning point in your career? And one of them was, uh, I was uh, an elementary particle physicist, a theoretician, so not in CERN. They wouldn't let me near the laboratory, just kidding. <laughs> and the, uh, that was uh, my education. And, and uh, uh, like, uh, because there's so many fascinating things in the world, but people are staring at their smartphones all the time. It'd be nice if they put the smartphone down in the pocket and used a heads-up display just once in a while to get some augmented information once in a while on the side sure. and not stare at their phone all the time. They're waiting for notifications. Yes. Well, that's certainly possible with uh, augmented reality to have a device that gives you information that uh, you can see and pops up in your view, it's certainly possible. In the, uh, on the consumer case, what you want is something very small like a pair of glasses. So uh, here at the SID Display Week, you, you get to see all the different stuff. Uh, I, got, I saw a little bit of micro LEDs and people talking about micro LEDs for, for augmented reality. What, what do you think is going to happen in the future? Who's going to win? What's going to win? Well, the question on the micro LED is, the, can you get the small size? So we're talking about AR, for example. Can you get the very small size and make it very efficient? And that's the question you have to ask. The smaller you make the LEDs, I, I understand the smaller, the, the lower the efficiency. That's because the problem. You can, you can kind of guarantee long life and working for uh, like reliably, and all the pixels are good and stuff like that. Oh, I, I didn't say that. All the pixels yeah. are good. Uh, it depends on how you make it. If you make it by uh, pick and place, and you have, uh, you know, four, if you have a 4,000 by 4,000, that's 16,000 pixels times three for th color pixels. And then if you're 1% off in your yield, that's a problem. All right. So there are a lot of work, lot, there is a lot of work to do there. Nice. And you had a good time here at the SID Display Week, other than getting the awards? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's one of the best shows I ever attend every year, and uh, that's definitely worth it.